Hey y'all, Shapani Nicole here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing some of the new iOS features with you. There is a lot to unpack, so let's just go ahead and jump into the video. The iPadOS 17 update brings the iPhone lock screen customization features to the iPad. So you're going to get a variety of different wallpapers you can use like gradients, astronomy, kaleidoscopes, plus some of them even have animations which you can see here. I like that you can even design your own emoji wallpapers and customize the background giving you the option to create different combinations and colors. You can create wallpaper pairs or create a different wallpaper for the home screen. And just like the iPhone, you can create different profiles and switch between them. You can also customize the date and time on the lock screen with different font styles and any color using the color palette. Lock screens can also be paired with a focus mode. So you can have a lock screen activate focus mode and a focus mode activate lock screen. With the new update, you can also add widgets to your lock screen. This gives you space to add widgets like calendar, reminders, etc. They're also interactive so you can move them around and check off to-dos. You can also open up different apps on your lock screen as well. And of course I added my planner and you can see that I'm able to navigate through it easily. And I can also annotate. You will notice that in portrait mode, your space for widgets is limited, but if you rotate your iPad, you can see more widget options. Home screen widgets are now interactive, so you can do things like check off to-dos and pause music. You can create your own stickers using images from your Photos app. Just select Add Sticker and you can add various effects to the sticker. These are added to your stickers drawer, which you can access from your emojis keyboard. You can also use your stickers anywhere like messages, note-taking apps, and your digital planner. You can even turn live photos into animated stickers and send them in a message. If your devices are all on the same cloud, your sticker drawer will sync across devices, making them accessible and usable. The Notes app now has a link feature where you can link websites and link other notes. This is great when you want to just access another note quickly. When creating links to your notes, all you have to do is simply type out the title and all relevant notes will appear and you'll just select which note you want to link. You can also work with PDFs within a notes app by dragging and dropping them over. So in this example, I'm going to use my digital planner and you'll notice that I'm able to use my hyperlinks, which allows me to easily navigate throughout the planner. I can also annotate on it, I can drag and drop stickers, copy, paste, delete, and arrange pages. I do like the fact that you can use a digital planner inside of the Notes app because it is a PDF, but keep in mind that it does have limitations such as layering and placing text boxes. If you like using Stage Manager, you'll notice that there's more flexibility in how the windows can be positioned and resized. The Reminders app now has some great updates. You can now add in sections and drag and drop items to different sections. You can also create grocery lists and items will be sorted into corresponding categories. A watercolor and calligraphy brush have been added to the Freeform Apps toolbar. You can also hand draw shapes and have them snap into perfect shapes. The Health app has been updated to the iPad as well. You can now keep track of things like your mood, symptoms, and menstrual cycle. Here's a list of iPad devices that are able to upgrade to iPad OS 17. And that's it y'all. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the new features. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel to get notified when I upload new videos. And if you found this video to be helpful, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, bye y'all.